Hi guys, welcome to another video. So the video today is about my drag racing engine. So it's a 190 Ti. There is crankshaft. It's completely standard crankshaft. Uh, IRP head bolts. And this is the caps for the crankshaft. This is the pistons with max speed rods. And Uh, let's see if I can see the size. Anyway, is a 81 mil uh, bore size. It's been machined by Vicomer as well. Um, all the bits to build the engine is here. So I have a Firad 160 from Skiller Turbos, camshaft 2.72 by Coma. This cylinder head been done by me. Uh, I did the porting on it, so it's not looks doesn't look great like Vicom uh, does, but the size of the, of the holes is the same. And um, I used to have a Vicom cylinder head, but it's cracked. I can show you. I think I have them here. I can show you. I think you can see the crack there on that corner. So where's the injector hole is? Where's the injector hole? Oh yeah, and here. Yeah, if you can see, it went all the way through this side. So lost compression on there. So yeah, I didn't really want to spend too much money making a new head so I did myself I did skim it as well I think it's gonna be a little bit dirty but it has been skimmed I face the valves to the cylinder head because normally they stick a little bit um, up so I face the valves as well so I face the valves cut the, cut the seats I send them away to to cut the seats so they can make the valve the valve flat so it's hydraulic um, lifters, so that's my still my old ones, it's not new ones, still in good condition, so why is putting new ones? Oil filter there, uh, oil pump, brand new oil pump, that's really important, you know, because if you have a um, bad oil pump, could damage your engine. Uh, glyco bearings for the crank. Again, glyco bearings for the crankshaft as well, for the main, main for the rods. Um, cam belt, glyco bearings for the camshaft. Uh, trust watchers for the crankshaft. And all the, the seals you need, the, the, the crank seal on the timing belt side. The, the other seal on the, the gearbox side, I believe. Yeah, there is head gasket all the gaskets you need is here yeah guys and this is the block and I have the cups already on it i'll turn it around so you guys can see it it's not gonna be easy to do this with one hand but i'll try it uh. oops Yeah, there is the block. They have been bored from 81.4. And I have skimmed the face in here as well because it was a little bit rusty and that. Paint the block on one side is white. The other side is, is black still. So, But uh, the only reason I paint is not to look pretty because it's all rusty under here. So it's white now. So it's much better than see rust. So yeah guys, I'm gonna build all this up. Um, yeah, uh, are the bolts, the washers, the camshaft. So yeah, I have everything ready to build. So yeah, let's do this.
So, um, when you're doing the, the crank, you have to make sure all these holes is nice and clean, no any dirt on it, just put a little bit of oil so they don't seize it. And when you tie this up, all of them, you need to make sure the crankshaft will move and doesn't have play for any V either side. So, yeah, and I put, put you can't forget the um, oil jets is under the bottom there, all there in. And yeah, just carry on, put the other cups in, and see how it goes. So guys, this is 65, 65 newtons plus 90 degrees. So let's do the 65 newtons. Yeah. <coughs> that. On the other one, just pin. Anyway, I'll do this on the way I think is the right way, but probably some people will do different on different way. I don't know. So um, I don't like similar when you tighten a cylinder head. And you have to make sure the crankshaft it moves freely. If it doesn't move freely, it's something wrong. Something wrong with the crankshaft or the cups or, or whatever. So, yeah, you don't, don't need to have too much knowledge to do this, to be honest. Uh, you know, I have, I'm trying to show you what you know, what I know about this engine, so. Yeah, so next step, just put the pistons in. When I finish tight this up, I'm gonna have to use two hands on this. And yeah. Okay guys, oil pump is fitted, the piston is already in, chain, the tensioner, everything is in. As you're building the oil pump, don't forget it has a seal here. If you miss this seal, the oil pump won't work. 
Okay, I turn the engine around for you guys to see. Pistons already in. You probably guys gonna ask me why this piston is different color. Uh, this the reason is this this piece this pistons was used and um, the cranks went and damaged this piston. So I went and bought a um, new piston. That, that's why this piston is old and this piston is new. So um, yeah, now it's time to put the guides, head bolts, cylinder head, and carry on. So the head bolts are in, gasket is in, the cylinder head is all nice and clean. So let's slide the cylinder head into the block. go so now we just need to put the washers the washers a little bit of lubricant lubricant or whatever this name it's on the thread this is came with the bolts let's put two nuts Yeah, now I just need to follow the procedure as a normal cylinder head. It's nothing changed, to be honest. So okay guys, all the engine is almost built in. Just need thermostat and all of that. I want to leave without timing belt covers because I want to see if it doesn't have any leaks or anything. So you guys probably asking, oh, why does it have that turbo on? Um, because this engine, before I fit on my drag car, I want to fit on um, VW Golf so I can bed the engine in, so I can drive it, can see if there's no any leaks on it. And why do I put that big tub? Because I want to try um, the SG gearbox. And we bought this Golf 190Di DSG. I'll show you. Yeah, it has a DSG gearbox. The plan is uh, fit this engine on there, drive it, see if it doesn't have any leaks, and um, fit on my drag car. Uh, and then put this turb. Yeah, this turb's going to be on already. But I want to try have this Golf 19 19 Ti DSG with 300 horsepower. See how long the gearbox is going to last. Um, if it doesn't break with 300 horsepower, I'll put nitrous on, see how long it's going to last. I bought the intercooler for it as well, quite a big one. Apparently straight fit, let's see. And um, yeah guys, uh, the engine is built in. Gonna try and fit in this car, but I wanna use a standard ECU of um, 1.9 TDI is a EDC 15, if I'm not wrong. So this turbo is amazing. It's off skillet turbos. Um, it's a 2262R. So it's a VK turbo. It's off a VMW. Look, guys, it's amazing. It's a completely straight fit. The standard fit pipe will fit. It's amazing. And comes with flange, exhaust flange, you just need to weld on. It comes with return pipe. Uh, you know, 
you know, you see this weld this is more than perfect. You know, you, you buy a completely, uh, completely brand new turbo. Sometimes the weld's not perfect as on this one. And I think you guys can see this in skillet turbos. Um, yeah, this is my cylinder head. I ported myself. Uh, I did some writing there as well. So, um, yeah, I just need... Basically, just put the inlet manifold and fit on the car and see how it runs. Yeah, saying about the inlet manifold, I have the inlet manifold here. I'm not finished yet. I just open up the holes. Probably doesn't make any difference, but every little helps. So, and I fit a two and a half inch e EGR delete or whatever you guys want to call. And I open up the hole inside. It's not finished yet, but um, probably doesn't make any difference. But like I said, uh, every little helps. So yeah, guys, is is the I think is the end of this video. If you have any questions, if you want to answer anything, just drop the comment below. I'll try to answer. Um, thanks for watching, and hopefully you like these videos.